Good morning, YouTubes. Hello, hello. It is Tuesday morning. How is everyone doing? Today I'm coming to you to start something totally new. With that being said, I have a little disclaimer. Uh, this morning, yesterday, actually, I had this idea of a way that we can socialize and spend time with one another, and I could be a happy distraction for everyone during our home time, right? I know we're all really busy doing other things while we are at home, and I really have felt led to be a happy distraction during this time uh, and a social outlet for many of us who are used to seeing other faces during the day, uh, more social interaction, or like me, I'm used to being home all day by myself, <laughs> happy, alone, sewing away, making tutorials, making quilts and stuff like that, right? But many of us are not used to that. And so I wanted to be a social butterfly, if you will, and offer an outlet for people who are struggling during this time at home. And, uh, and, and I also think as a distraction, you know, in today's day, uh, there are many things that we need to keep up with, current events happening, updates on our situations with staying home, our work life, and at some point during the day, We've heard everything we need to hear and we need to do something else, right? And I wanted to think of an idea for those of you who are feeling a little anxious or stressed. Uh, I can think of no better way than to spend time with loved ones and friends. We can do that socially here and to do something that makes us really happy like sewing or quilting or crafting, right? Good morning, everyone. You'll have to catch the replay if you're at work. Um, today, I'm going to start doing a traditional quilt block every day um, until we're back to normal. And we might get six blocks made and we'll make a table runner with it. <laughs> Who knows how long we're all going to be home. We might be able to make a full quilt with it. I do not know. I don't know. But that's my plan. Good morning, everybody. Hello. Hello. Uh, Darlene, all right, y'all give me just a minute. We're, we're live. So <laughs> this is me being real. I'm going to take a second to assign a couple moderators for our live. Okay, if I can do that. Let's see. Darlene, you are now a moderator for the live. If you can keep an eye out on the uh, chat for me, that would be great. And uh, yes, so that's what we're doing. So these blocks, and I'm going to show you some numbers on the screen if you want to take some notes and make this block with me. Uh, I'm going to show those here in just a minute. These can be made scrappy. So if you have a stash, that's great. If you don't have a stash, go cut up a pair of blue jeans and a sheet, one of those pretty sheets that, uh, that you love so much. <laughs> cut it up and use it in this quilt. Um, cut apart some button front shirts. Raid your closet for the clothes that you don't wear anymore because you can make fabric from your clothing. Y'all know that if you've watched any of my videos before. If not, I'm so glad you're here. Hello. <laughs> Um, so yes, it's going to be totally scrappy. I'm not going to try to coordinate my fabrics whatsoever. The fabrics that you see here in just a minute might not go with tomorrow's fabrics and I'm okay with that. I just did a, a Facebook live on Lisa Cape and Quilts page and Chantel uh, recommend, recommended the name of this project as Happy Together at Home. That's what we're going to call it. Uh, all of the blocks that we make, we're going to make one a day. They're all going to be divisible by two. However, the blocks will be different sizes. Today, I'm going to show you an 8-inch block. Tomorrow, we might do a 12-inch block. The next day, it might be a 6-inch block. I'm going to mix it up. Uh, it might be that you don't want to make today's block, 
but tomorrow you see a block that would work perfectly in a quilt as a filler block and you want to make tomorrow's block. It might be that you want to make every block. It might be that you come back a year from now and use these videos to make a quilt or a project with. They're very traditional patchwork quilt blocks. I'm going to try to keep them as simple as possible. And that's what we're doing. Now, as a disclaimer, and I just got through saying this on Facebook. So if you're watching this from Facebook, uh, I'm going to repeat some of the things that I said in that video. Uh, when we moved from one house to the house we're in last year, I packed up my Singer Patchwork machine and it made the move and I have not used that machine since we moved. I pulled out that machine so that I could set it up here so I wasn't going to have to move my Juki, which I use on a daily basis, back and forth. I have misplaced the power cord that goes to my Singer Patchwork. If I would have looked for it yesterday, I probably would have found it because I was looking for it to do this video and to get set up to do these videos while we're at home. Now I cannot find it. So I ordered another one on Amazon. It is from someone in the States. Uh, it says it's supposed to be here between Friday and Monday. So just know that if you're watching this video, uh, I'm going to show you the blocks. I'm going to show you how many pieces you need and the measurements of those pieces. And then I'm going to show you the layout of the block and the order of which you sew those pieces together. I think if I were moving the camera back and forth to do this with you, no one's going to watch that, right? No one's going to want to stick through all that moving back and forth with the cameras. So in the meantime, until I get my new power cord or find my other one that is lost somewhere here, this is what we're doing. At the end of this live, I'm going to take a few minutes to actually sew this block together. And when I do that, I'm going to change the thumbnail of this video to the finished sewn together block. And I'm going to put the name of the block and the size of the block as the thumbnail. So you can come back to my channel. I'm going to make a playlist so all these blocks will be together in one section and easy to find. When you do come back, you'll see the finished block as the thumbnail of this video. And that's how we're going to do this until I get my new power cord. <laughs> the devil is not going to win today. He's tried. We're winning today. So just know that when I get that power cord, I will be able to actually sew the blocks together with you and it'll flow nice and easy. So let me pull up on the screen. Good morning, everybody. These are going to be easy blocks. Yes, I'm going to keep. Now, I do have some traditional quilt blocks that are not so easy. We're not going to do those. <laughs> We're keeping this easy. This is supposed to be something fun. I'm hoping that your piecing gets better. I'm hoping that your cutting gets better. Let me pull up on the screen of the pieces that you need for this block. <laughs> right here. This block that I'm going to show you today is called Ribbon Weave. It's an eight inch block. You're going to need four neutral squares and I'm going to pull you down on the table here in just a minute, but I want to leave this up on the screen so you can take some notes. From some neutral fabric that you have, cut four two and a half by two and a half inch squares. Then I want you to gather four other fabrics. And from those, from each color fabric, you're going to cut one two and a half by two and a half inch square. And you're going to cut one two and a half by four and a half inch square. Do you know what's great about these measurements? is that if you have leftover binding from your quilts that you've made binding and you cut your binding two and a half inches wide, you could use your scrap bindings for this block. I think that's fantastic. So I'm going to leave that on the screen for a minute and just read through your comments. And while that's on the screen, you can take some notes. What is on my shirt? 
This is one of the t-shirts that I found at the Goodwill. If you saw that uh, Goodwill video, I bought several button front shirts, a couple pairs of blue jeans, and I bought some t-shirts to make a t-shirt quilt with, right? We made the quilt together. Uh, that's a series, that's some videos on my channel, but I bought this shirt. It says, I know, I know I'm awesome, but let's not make a big deal about it. <laughs> I kept that shirt and didn't put it in my quilt. <laughs> That's what it says. Good morning, everyone. It's so great to see everybody. One of the main reasons, while this is on the screen and you're getting a piece of paper and writing everything down, we can chit chat for just a second. I really feel like and if you if you missed part of this live, I really feel like, you know, we're all called to do different things. And I have a platform where I can reach a lot of people. And uh, some of us are called to do different things. And I feel like uh, having this platform, I'm really feeling led to just socialize and spend time with you. And uh, so that's what that's what this is all about. Spending time with you. We'll learn some traditional quilt blocks together. And uh, if you're someone who's really struggling being stuck at home, then this might be something for you to look forward to every day. Right? If not, if this is not your thing, then maybe we'll make a, we make all kinds of videos here, y'all. Uh, if this is not your thing, then just keep on scrolling till you find another video. Uh, hopefully it's one of mine, but you know, there's millions of videos here on YouTube, right? Oh, good. You took a screenshot of fabric. That's so smart. Technology is awesome. I'm going to tell you, we've been doing the Zoom on the Creative Crew group here the last few days. And I love the day that we're living in, even though it's it's chaotic and it's crazy, right? Technology is bringing us together. We've had some really awesome uh, conversations and spent time together doing the Zoom on Creative Crew Group. Uh, just letting you know, if you have not been on Facebook, but you are in the Creative Crew Group, we're not going live tonight. We're going live tomorrow night so that we can have birthday cake with the baby in our family who just turned 18. <laughs> I feel so bad for her because she had all these plans for her birthday party and now we're all stuck at home, right? Yes, I want to go thrifting again too, Dawn. <laughs> I really do. All right, I'm going to take this off the screen. And I'm going to uh, move you down to my work table. I've already cut my pieces out. <clears throat> so here on the table is what I actually gave you measurements for. Okay, and we're going to go over it. And because the devil stole my power cord, we can't actually sew it together yet. But I'm, I'm working on that too, right? So here are my four neutral two and a half by two and a half inch squares. There's four of them. And here are my four other fabrics that make up this block for each color. There's a two and a half by two and a half and a two and a half by four and a half inch block, right? See how you could use your scrappy bindings for this? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out the order of this block, okay? So let's move these pieces. We're going to start, and you might actually see this backwards, but it doesn't matter because you can flip this square any which way that you want. So that's nice. We're going to take our first, I'll make sure I'm in the camera here. E -e -e -e, here we go. Everything is backward on my screen. There we go. We're going to take our first neutral piece and uh, we're going to place that there. Then we're going to take, let's take the two 
green pieces. We're going to take the two and a half inch block and place it right next to it. The matching fabric we're going to put down here for a second. Okay, so the two pieces are lined up the same color. Next, we're going to take, let's take this brown fabric. We're going to take the two and a half by four and a half, and we're going to place it right next to it. And we're going to take the matching partner of it, the two inch block, and we're going to put it right there. Lined up, lined up. We're going to take uh, one of our neutral pieces and we're going to put it right up in this corner just like this. Now we're going to take, let's take this red one. We're going to put it right here and we're going to carry over the four inch block. They're lined up this way. Next, we're going to take, let's see, yes, we're going to take this one. We're going to put it there. We're going to take his partner and bring it straight across. And then we're going to fill in our other two neutrals right in these corners. And this makes up the ribbon weave block. This block, when sewn together, will be an 8-inch block. Oh my goodness, Darlene, what did you do? I've never seen that before. I've seen it during other lives, but thank you so much. Oh, now y'all are going to make me cry. <clears throat> I don't want to cry during a live video. Last night during a Zoom, I started laughing and I could not stop laughing. I don't want to cry during a video. Thank you, Darlene, so much. Y'all know that you don't have to do that, right? Just watching the video is enough. Thank you so much. <clears throat> that is not in the center of my work table. Let's move it over here. There we go. I think you can see it better now. <laughs> the logistics of doing everything and alive. There you go. I think you can see that better. Maybe you can take a screenshot of this too so that when you're at your sewing machine, if you're making this block, you see how it's laid out. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> so this is the layout of the block. You see the matching colors are just lined up with each other, right? And the four neutrals go in the four corners. If you need to come back and watch the replay, you can do that and um, watch me lay it all out again. <clears throat> Pardon me, my morning voice, y'all. <clears throat> Plus I'm trying not to get choked up over Miss Darlene. <clears throat> to sew this together, we're gonna make it really simple, okay? Let's pull these three pieces down. That's a block right there. Let's pull these down. That's a block. We'll separate these. That's a block. And we'll separate these. That's a block. To piece these individual blocks together, we're gonna sew our two inch pieces together, press that open and that'll be a unit. And then it gets sewn to the top of this piece right there. And since the devil stole my power cord, I can't do that with you. <laughs> but that's what you're going to do. You're going to piece together the two and a half inch blocks and make that a unit and then sew it to this piece, right? Sew these together, sew it onto this piece. These together, sew it onto this piece. What you'll end up with is four units. Right, these have seam allowances cut into them. So if you sit them next to each other, they're gonna be longer than the four inch piece right now. When you piece them together with a quarter inch seam allowance, they will be the same size and they'll go to the four inch piece. When you do that, you're gonna have four units and then it's just like a four patch, right? We're gonna take, <coughs> pardon me. We're gonna take this four patch. Oh my goodness, y'all. Thank you so much. I don't even know what to say. Thank you. 
All right, focus, Lisa. You're going to take this four patch and this four patch, sew them together. This four patch and this four patch, sew them together. Then you're going to have this unit and this unit, and they will be joined right in this seam, and the block will come together just like that. Right? <clears throat> At the end of this live, and of course I'm going to lose my voice. <laughs> At the end of this live, I'm going to sew this together and I'm going to change the thumbnail for this video and show you the finished block. I'll put the size of the block and the name of the block up on the screen. In a few days when I have my power cord, we're going to sew these blocks together <coughs> during the lives. <coughs> the devil is trying to mess me up today. I'm not going to let him. I'm not going to let him. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Y'all, please, you know that you don't have to do that, right? I appreciate that so much. But uh, I really, I just want to come to y'all and hang out and spend time with you and offer a, a distraction during your day because all of our days are a little off kilter here recently. <clears throat> Please know that I am not asking for these donations, okay? I, <laughs> it is not something that I'm asking for. I'm just asking if you want to hang out with me to spend some time with me. <laughs> Please know that. I'm going to leave this up on the screen <clears throat> so that you can see it for a few more minutes. And if you have questions about this block, let's stay on for a few more minutes, and I'll be glad to answer your questions about this block, the ribbon weave block. So it would be a great time to ask them. If you're watching this on the replay, know that uh, I try to be as quick in responding to the questions on the videos. You can ask them down in the comments section. Uh, my days are not going as they usually do. They're, you know, Harlan's home, working from home for his job which is really important. He does use the internet too. And sometimes our internet, our internet connection really stinks. So I'm working around that, but I try to be as quick as I can to answer questions. Um, Vicki, as of last night, uh, Michigan shut down. Yeah, yesterday, I'm in Virginia. Yesterday, they closed the schools for the rest of the school year. <clears throat> they closed non-essential stores and businesses. And then the ones that are staying open, there's like a 10-person limit. And they have to follow really strong guidelines as to cleaning uh, if they want to stay open. That's where we are right now for 30 days. School shut down for the rest of the year. You're so welcome. So, yes, uh, that's my plan, is to be a happy distraction. And who knows, you know what? I'm praying that it ends tomorrow, y'all. I'm praying that it ends tomorrow, but... You know, I'm not in control of all of this. So in the meantime, I thought that this would be something fun to do. Uh, we all should be staying up with our local governments, our local news and national news and numbers to find out what's going on and when life can return back to normal. But in the meantime, I really feel led to be just a distraction to help those who, you know, this is causing a lot of people a lot of anxiety, right? A lot of stress. Our normal day-to-day -day schedules is not what it was. And uh, everyone nationwide, worldwide is feeling the effects of this. And so 
I really feel led that this is my mission during this time is just to be a distraction. And uh, this is my contribution, just sharing some traditional quilt blocks. It might be that we only make six blocks. If that's the case, if this is over in six days, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. We'll make a table runner out of these blocks. <laughs> It might be that we make a throw size quilt. I don't know. I don't have the answers. But we'll do something fun with all of our blocks. If you just want to watch and hang out and not make blocks, maybe you're doing something else. There's a lot of other things that are going on. Uh, then yes. Maybe just hang out. Turn on the videos and have them going while you're making masks or you're uh, doing housework, you know, cleaning, laundry, Lord knows we're having more laundry to do. We're having more dishes to do during the day because our normal schedules are all crazy. When I'm live on Facebook, I often say this, and I'm going to say it to you here on YouTube. Um, one of my goals, part of my business, and I say business, but part of what I do is offering tutorials, right? Um, but it's also social. Sometimes I do a video and I'm not teaching anything. Mostly that's on Facebook, right? YouTube's, I usually come with a mission I'm here to show you something. But on YouTube, it's a more of a social platform, right? And uh, not everybody likes these live videos where I'm not getting to the point <laughs> and it's showing them something right away. But these videos will be a social interaction. I'm opening up the chat if you're here live or if you catch the replay to have conversations with one another because I feel like that is important right now. I feel like it's important to reach out to people who are friendly and uh, have things in common and we have that social interaction. I feel like that is important right now. So these videos, if you see someone you know or y'all start having a conversation in the chat, I want you to do that. Even if I'm showing a block layout, if y'all want to talk about where you are and what's going on, please feel free to do that. Okay? And that's what these videos are really all about, the social interaction. If you have a conversation, it's not on, it's not in line with what we're talking about. I'm okay with that. Okay? I want you to know that you have the freedom to do that with these videos. If you're watching these videos and you're wondering why I'm so chatty, it's because that's what these videos, along with the blocks, are about. And know that... Uh, if you're someone who doesn't like a lot of chatter, I have a lot of other videos where I try to stick to the point. <laughs> but these videos are going to be a little bit different. So I've been scanning through the comments. I don't see off the top of my head. that uh, there's any specific questions for this block. It's pretty simple, right? The pieces, the cutting, and how it goes together is pretty simple. When, I, when we're done here, I'm going to sew this together. I will be changing the thumbnail to the finished block. And so they'll be really uh, easy to find on my channel. I will be making a playlist for all these blocks. And my challenge, my mission, is to come once a day with a new block. They'll be simple. And uh, as soon as I get my power cord, we'll actually be sewing the blocks together. I have to be patient for that. Vicki, you have no fabric, but you love to watch. I'm so glad you're watching. And if you know anything about me, I don't have a huma. I do have a fabric stash, but it oh, really it's not that ginormous, right? It's not huge. 
I'm cutting up some blue jeans for this quilt. I heard that denim and quilts is trending this year. I just heard that. Uh, and so, you know what? My quilts might be trending this year with recycled blue jeans. <laughs> yes, you could use shirts from your closet. I'm all about that. So that's what we're doing. I hope that you make this block. I hope you enjoy making this block. I've enjoyed spending some time with you here on the YouTubes. And uh, thank you so much for moderating, Darlene. And uh, if you asked to moderate earlier and I missed you, I'm so sorry. Know that I would never intentionally ignore you. There's a lot to keep up with during a live. But um, yes, if you follow me on Facebook, I would love it if you join the Creative Crew group. And if you make this block, it's really easy to share pictures there. We're doing a live tomorrow night, not our normal Tuesday night, in case you haven't heard that yet. And thank you so much for spending time with me today. Let me switch, switch the screens around one more time. Let me take that off the screen. There we go. So that's my mission. And the next, while this is going on, we're sewing traditional quilt blocks together. I'm going to keep them simple. Right now, I'm going to show you the order in which they go together. I'll put a finished block as the thumbnail as soon as I get this sewn together in a minute. When I get my power cord, we're sewing the blocks together. As soon as I get those, we'll actually sew in these tutorials. <laughs> I'm not going to let the devil win, and I'm not going to let the devil put this off because I almost thought, well, maybe I should wait until I get my power cord. No, we're not waiting. We're spending time together today. Okay, I love you so much. I hope to see you really soon. Have fun creating. Do something for you today. If that means sitting on the porch, if that means cutting some fresh flowers, if that means baking a cake like I did this morning, my house smells like cake. It's fabulous. <laughs> Do something for you. Take care of yourself. And I love you and we'll see you really soon. If you can join me on the Facebooks, that would be awesome. If not, I'll see you here tomorrow on the YouTubes. Bye, everybody.